Adding keyword tags to a photo is the single most powerful thing you can do in Lightroom's library module. This is going to increase the odds that you'll be able to find the photo in the future. Now if you've got 100 photos, you could possibly get by with a shoebox and a biro. But if you've got 10,000 images, you're going to need some other way to quickly and easily find them. You need to use keywords, and use keywords that make sense, and be consistent with your use of them. Now it's such an important thing to do, but many do not, and then spend wasted hours searching through folders of images for the one that they want that they took three years ago. So where do we get keywords from? Well, I find it easy just to let the images suggest keywords for you. Okay, well, let's add some keywords. Over here at the right hand side, we have the two panels associated with keywords. We've got the keywording panel itself, where we can enter keywords. And we've got the keyword list, which hasn't got anything in at the moment because none of these images have keywords. This list builds up as your library of keywords increases. So OK, let's start in the keywording panel and we'll go and we'll select an image. I'll select this one. Now when I look at this image, I remember where I took it. This was at Kreitz Tramway Museum. So there's the first one for me. I've got tram. So I'm going to enter it in there and I've now got a keyword tram. And if you look down here at the corner of the thumbnail now, you'll see that there is a little icon. And if I hover over that, it tells me that this photo has now got keywords. And this is called a badge. OK, now if we look down now in the keyword list, you'll see that tram has appeared. And tram now is associated with that one image. Now there's another image with another tram. So I need to add the keyword to this image. And I can do that very easily. I don't have to go and type it in again. If I've got the keyword I want in my keyword list, I can just click it and drag it and drop it. And now I've got two images with tram on. OK, let's have a look further. Oh, we've got some more. OK, so we can do this in multiples as well. So I can click on that one, control and click to select them both. And then I can drag the keyword over one of them and it applies them to both images. So now I've got four images with a keyword tram attached to them. Let's keep going. Is there any further down? No. OK. Well, what about location? Well, this image, I know, was taken at Kreitch. So let's have a keyword for Kreitch. So I'm going to go back to my keywording panel. And down here, when it says click here to add keywords, bit of a giveaway that really, isn't it? I'm going to type Kreitch. And that then will add that to the keyword list. So now on that one image, I've got Kreitch and Tram. So same thing applies on the keyword list now. We've got Kreitch. So I want to add Kreitch to this one. So I'm going to click it and drag it and drop it over there. And then we'll scroll down. Is there any more from Kreitch? Well, actually, yeah, actually this one's from Kreitch. It's not got a tram on it, but it was from Kreitch. So it wants the Kreitch keyword. And so does this one down here. So I'm going to grab the Kreitch keyword and drop it on that one. OK, so now we've got four images with Kreitch keyword and four images with the keyword tram. So where are these others from? Hmm, well those were from Beamish. OK, so I need a keyword for Beamish. Back to my keyword panel. I'm going to type Beamish. And oh, I've made a mistake. I've put that where I should have. That's a crouch. So I need to get rid of that. So no problem. I can click in there and I can delete it and then press return. OK, so what I need is this one. That's one of the Beamish ones. So now again, I'll go to my keyword list. I've got a keyword for Beamish. Drop it over that one. These bottom three were from Beamish here. So I'm going to click on the first one, shift click on the last one to select them 
and then I'm going to drag the Beamish keyword onto it. There we go. Right, and I think there might be one down at the bottom. Yes, there is. That's a Beamish one as well. So I'm going to click and drag and drop that in there. OK, what else we got? Let's have a look. There's a couple of images here. These were taken at Lady Bower Dam up in Derbyshire. So let's go. But this time what I'll do is on the keyword list panel, I'll click the little plus icon to create a new keyword tag. And I'll type in Lady Bower. And I'll click create. And that again, it's just another way of doing it is creating me a keyword. And I want to apply it to two, so I'm going to control click on them to select them. And then I'm going to drag the keyword Lady Bower. Okay, what's these last few? Well, those two, these two are Castleton. Okay, so I want another keyword for Castleton. There we go. And there are two, so I'll select them both. And then I'll drag the keyword Castleton over them. Now these two, these three, are all what Padley Gorge in Derbyshire. Because keywords can actually be two words as well. So what I'm going to do, again, I'll click the plus, and I'll type in Oops, I'm shouting at you. Padley Gorge. Click Create. And again, I'm going to select these three. And you can actually do this the other way around as well. You can drag the images onto the keyword. So you can do it either way around. Now they've all got the little badges on. So every image in there has now been keyworded. Oh, no, that one hasn't. OK, well, that one was a Beamish. So I'll just drag that one over to put that on there. So now everything has been keyworded. OK, you can see here that the, the keyword list is getting bigger and bigger. And what you can do is you can rationalise that a little bit just to, to save a little bit of space. So here we've got, let's say, Castleton, and we've got Lady Bower, and we've got Padley Gorge. Well, they're all in Derbyshire. So what we can do, we can create a master keyword for Derbyshire because these, these sub keywords can be nested. So if I create a keyword now for Derbyshire, and then in the keyword list, I can click the Lady Bower and drag it up and drop it into Derbyshire. And you can see now it's indented because it's like a subfolder now. It's a sub keyword. And Padley Gorge, that's in Derbyshire as well. And Castleton, well, that's definitely in Derbyshire. That's all those go in there. So what I can now do with Derbyshire is I can close it up. So it keeps my list nice and tidy. And if I want to go and have a look in, I can just click and I can see what I'm doing. OK, so what is the advantage of doing all this keywording stuff? Well, it helps us find things. At the top of the workspace is the library filter. Now, if you don't see it, press the backslash key on the keyboard and it'll appear. Now, here we can search by text, by attribute or by metadata. Well, we'll look at text, click on the text one, and then we can select which criteria we want to search by. And we've got quite a few in here, but I'll settle for keywords. We can then search by some certain criteria. Do you want it to contain it, contain just the words, don't contain, whatever. I'll leave that to contain. So we're looking now for any keywords that contain whatever we type in this end box here. So if I type in there, say, tram, that will then bring up all those images that are keyworded with tram. Let's try Crich. There we go. All the ones from the, from Crich. 
we can try the major keyword of Derbyshire. Well, I've only had to type in the Derb and it brings up all the ones that are keyworded with Derbyshire. I can then go on to say, well, let's try Lady Bower. And those two will come up. So you can see it's a very, very effective way of searching for images that are long lost. Now we can also search by attribute. I'll just click that to, to take the, that filter off and take us back to viewing all the images. We can search by attribute, which is something like the flagging, star rating and colour labels, which we've done, we've looked at in another video. And this one we can search by metadata. So again, we've got some columns that are by default. You can add more columns, take more columns away, and you can choose from a whole host of information to search by. So again, we'll set this one to keyword. We'll leave that one set to camera. We'll leave that set to ISO speed and aperture. And so now what I can do is I can say, OK, well, here I've got six images that I know were taken at Beamish and they will all come up. But now I've got these other filters as well. So what it's saying is, OK, well, which ones were taken with the Canon EOS 10D? Well, we now know that that many were. And then how many of those were taken at ISO 200? Yep, we can decide on that. There were five. And then we could even choose an aperture and say which ones were taken at 6.3. So now we've got a fairly complicated search field here where we said, right, we've gone where we want them to be beamish keyworded. I want them to be on a certain camera, a certain ISO speed and a certain aperture. And there were four images and that could be out of 20,000 that specifically meet those criteria of beamish, 10D, ISO 200 and an f-stop of f6.3. OK, so to come out of that, we'll just click the none just to bring everything back to normal again. So now we're looking at all our images in grid view. Right, so that ends our conversation about keywording, how important it is and how to do it in the library module of Lightroom.